All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the first ever Noviland News Break. I am Lisa, the marketing assistant at Noviland, and of course, everybody knows Francois. We just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the big news today, which is the WeChat ban. So, Francois, what's going on? Yeah, so I know a lot of people have heard already about the TikTok ban uh, that was signed as an executive order a while back. And that sort of made tensions high between higher, I guess, between the US and China. Uh, but more importantly to businesses, it's this WeChat ban. And so WeChat, of course, is one of the biggest forms of communication uh, just within China and outside of China. So whether that's uh, importers working with quality control inspectors or sourcing agents or factories directly. Uh, this is really going to put a strain on anyone that doesn't already have it downloaded. So what's happening right now, and today's September 18th, Friday, they're expecting it by September 20th to be removed from being able to be downloaded on these different marketplaces. We don't know what's actually going to happen, but in case that does happen, uh, what that means is that no one is going to essentially be able to download WeChat after that unless they have something called a VPN. Okay. Um, and so with a VPN, they can do some technical magic and show that they're <laughs> using a marketplace in China uh, or anywhere else outside of the US. And they should be able to still download it. Um, I'm not sure how that works exactly on the phone because it does have to be on the phone the first time that you download it. Uh, but that's an entire process itself. And okay, you have WeChat. We all use WeChat. Yeah, we I mean, all use it. Our company does. Yeah, yeah. So we all use it. And and it's not something that I use very frequently because I'm not doing a lot of communications with the China team, but I know that you guys are, especially with warehousing and operations. Um, so, but the ban this weekend is specifically just for new downloads, correct? So like we all have it and we use it. We're still going to be able to use it. From what I read, it is specifically to new downloads. So downloading it today is definitely important um, and doing it at least before Sunday that that is going to be the most vital thing for any new business if you plan on doing work with Chinese suppliers or QC inspectors or sourcing agents um, or really just talking to someone that you know in China mm -hmm. um, so like you know if you wanted to learn Chinese and you met someone and they went back to China and you wanted to keep communicating you could use WhatsApp you could use you know Facebook Messenger uh, but WeChat is definitely the biggest form of communication uh, that all suppliers use. Yeah, because that's my question. I I don't know that I had actually ever heard of WeChat before I started working here. Definitely WhatsApp. You know, I know some folks over in Italy, so we just use Facebook Messenger. So I assumed everybody would use those major platforms. But it seems like WeChat is really what they use just from, you know, within families in China. That's their main method of communication. They don't even usually use texting. It's, it's really WeChat. Is that accurate? 100 percent i know um all of our china team uses wechat for posting moments which we see as like snapchat stories okay um and for using to i don't know pay vendors in china you use wechat quite literally for everything um, it is essentially whatsapp facebook snapchat everything combined into one app mm -hmm. um, but more importantly how this applies to businesses particularly in the us is that a lot of suppliers will see WeChat as a very traditional form of communication. And if you don't have it, I don't know if they're going to take you as seriously as if you did. Um, and that means just even having an account in general um, and proposing like, hey, we could talk via WeChat uh, if you'd like and, and just offering that to them, um, particularly for smaller factories and trade agents. Um, it's it's very important to just have it and have an account. So that's why we're really doing this today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really telling everyone um, that if this does happen, download it today. It's a process. It's not easy. Um, I'm not sure if anyone remembers back when Facebook first started, but you had to get verified by someone else, mm -hmm. uh, which I know we were talking about earlier and you yeah. didn't have much experience with. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I, I, you know, joke that I'm born in the wrong century. I'm, I'm not very hip on tech technology. But I do remember when I got my WeChat, you had to like scan the code or something. And you're right, I did have to have it on my phone before I could add the desktop application. And even anytime I restart my computer, it wants me to re-verify through my phone. Right. So, so it does seem like a process. So how, I mean, if I, 
if I end up needing WeChat, let, let's say that I'm, I'm a new Amazon seller and I want to be able to communicate with suppliers and they're, they want WeChat. If I don't have it before Sunday, what am I, what am I supposed to do? So that's when you would use something like a VPN to just try to get to a marketplace outside of the US. Uh, I would see that as the easiest to get around. Um, but just to touch on that complicated process that we just talked about, how you know you had to get scanned in, you do have to do it on your phone first. You can't download it on your computer as you first experienced. Mm -hmm. um, and then you could add it to your computer, you can add it to your iPad, anywhere else, but it has to be linked to your phone. And so once you download it, you have to have someone to verify you. Right. And what that means is another WeChat user, typically someone that is newly, uh, not newly established, someone that's had a WeChat account, uh, you would add them as a friend and essentially they would either be able to verify you through their WeChat app or they can scan your QR code. Uh, alternatively, if you don't know anyone that has WeChat, first you could try shooting us a Facebook message. We can see if it works on our end um, or DM us on Instagram and and. You know, we could try to get you verified. I don't know if WeChat blocks a certain number of verifications, um, but in the odd case that it does, because I would imagine that it did, mm -hmm. you can go on a Fiverr. Uh, Fiverr does have some paid accounts. I believe it's like 20 or $30. I wouldn't pay more than that at least. Um, I would just try to make a friend that lives in China or any of the agents that you see on Facebook, because <laughs> there's tons of them on there, and have them verify your account for you. Um, but once you are verified, you should be good to go. I know sometimes you run into a complication where it sort of blocks your account until mm -hmm. you have either multiple verifications or it has to be more of an established WeChat account um, verifying you. Again, I'm not entirely sure of that process. I just know create an account, get verified by someone, and then you can have it. So that's important to do before September 20th. Okay, gotcha. And that's for people that even, you know, even if you are an established Amazon seller and, and maybe you don't already have WeChat and your network is already set up, you would still recommend downloading the app ahead of time just, just to have it at the ready in case you need it in the future? 100%. Even if you think that you might be doing Amazon or selling some sort of e-commerce or even doing drop shipping, uh, mm -hmm. because that is very popular, right? You find a supplier overseas and they ship all your products for you. I would suggest downloading it today. If you don't have any connections or don't sell on Amazon yet, still do it today. It's worth just keeping around, having an account, um, and it's associated to your phone number. So you have to go through that entire process and the earlier, the better. Okay. So a question I have then is, you know, with, with this ban that's going to be going on and, and, you know, definitely not being able to download new accounts as of Sunday, I think the intention is removing the app altogether in the U S later down the line. So do you think that maybe there will just be a shift off of WeChat and onto another application, something like WhatsApp or, you know, another third party, just because there is so much business that goes on between the U.S. and China? I mean, do you think that there's just going to be a transition occur? I don't think so. I think WeChat is so popular and it's used by billions of people, mm -hmm. right? I mean, there's over, I think 1.4, 1.5 billion people just in China alone. Um, and so take that outside of China, it, it's probably a few billion people. I don't think it's just going to go away. Um, and so WeChat actually originated from a more antiquated service called QQ, uh, which I'm not sure if you know about, but mm -hmm. they were more so a web-based platform. And then WeChat sort of figured out, hey, we have to get on mobile. And then they created WeChat and blew up, became this entire thing. Um, but so I don't, I guess to answer your question, I don't think it's going to transition off of WeChat. And I think suppliers are still going to see, for example, if it does get banned, they're going to look at, Hey, does this person have WeChat? That means they've probably been selling before September 20th and mm -hmm. they've been interacting with other Chinese suppliers. So I can take them a little bit more seriously. Um, and so even if it does, you know, get pushed off onto apps like WhatsApp or, or anywhere else, I think it's very important to still get WeChat. So they, a lot of Chinese suppliers will use WeChat, whether or not you have a WeChat to determine the credibility of your business or how seriously they're going to take you as a seller and if they want to work with you. 
Now, it's not like a point where if you don't have an account, they just won't do business with you. Mm -hmm. I think it just adds one more point to that credibility. Like, hey, I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like just being prepared and having all this validation, specifically for newer Amazon sellers, I think it is going to help them out. Um, and, and proposing that, giving that channel to your supplier or to your QC inspector or to anyone else in China that you interact with, I think it's important. Uh, because then you can also toss them into a WeChat group. Let's say your QC inspector, your freight forwarder, and your supplier. Toss them into a group and coordinate all the logistics right on there. Uh, because you can hit translate and then you can see everything that they're talking about. Uh, I know a few of our users are doing it for uh, other suppliers that they're working with now. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the only reason that I know that they're doing that too. Well, very cool. It's it's good to kind of know how it's used over in China. And then also, you know, we've we've said Amazon sellers a lot, but this isn't something that specifically Amazon sellers should be downloading. I mean, if you have an e-commerce business at all where you're working with Chinese suppliers, or even if you do have a brick and mortar that you go factory direct, this would definitely still be a good thing to do is to download today. A thousand percent. And to speak on that point, I mean, we do work with significantly larger companies, well-established, you know, been around for decades, mm -hmm. or decades. Yeah. Decades. <laughs> <laughs> Confused about that. And they all have WeChats. If you look at exec teams at any major importing company, they will have a WeChat account and that's how they'll, you know, communicate with factory management um, or they'll establish new relationships that way, or they'll have introductions made by other Chinese suppliers. Let's say it's a complimentary service or product. Uh, they'll make those introductions through WeChat typically too. If, if we already have a WeChat, you're still gonna be able to use it. As of right now, there's not a huge impact. If you don't have it, you need to get it. We've talked a little bit about how Chinese suppliers are using it. And is, you know, this is obviously a globally used app, but this largely affects working with folks in China, correct? I mean, what about those that have suppliers in, in India? I'm pretty sure anyone that has WeChat anywhere around the world can use it to, to communicate, um, but it is particular to China. Um, and I guess it's also particular to the US, right? Because the US is putting this ban on it or right. um, the administration is putting this ban on it. Now we'll see if it actually goes into effect and how the marketplaces react. Uh, just like the TikTok ban, for example, we'll see how this all plays out because it's both WeChat and TikTok. Uh, so I guess we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Right, exactly. What else do people need to know? I, I guess just download WeChat today. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's Friday, September 18th, but this is mm -hmm. really when the news is breaking. Um, it's all over every medium. Uh, I know we have a few posts about it, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we're even doing this video because of the importance of it. Right. Um, so download WeChat today before Sunday. Worst case scenario, you have an app that you don't use. You could delete it down the road. Uh, but that way, you could continue to communicate with these Chinese suppliers and different service providers in China as well. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks so much for hopping on with me. Hope Pittsburgh's going well. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will see you on Monday. <laughs> see you on Monday then. Okay. All right, you guys, if you have any questions about the WeChat ban or maybe Novaland services where we'd be able to get, help get you guys verified or you can avoid needing it entirely almost, right? Because everything is housed through the Novaland platform. You can right. talk with your suppliers, with your QC, um, Novaland team, anything like that. You guys can message us at uh, or send us an email at inquiries at novaland.com. Send us a direct message on Instagram or on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, and go to our website, novaland.com and check us out. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure we'll be posting more about it next week. So let's see what happens. See on how Sunday it shakes out. <laughs> we'll see how it shakes out. <laughs> all right. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Lisa. We'll see y'all later.